Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have a win-win outcome is forecast with emotions are running high. So things are not quite what they seem here. I do see a period of stagnation or waiting. Uh, things have kind of been stuck for a while. I do see that uh, somebody is finally uh, giving in to these emotions, uh, but they're starting to boil over. Thought patterns get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth with new love, a new phase of love beginning here. So there's change on the horizon when it comes to uh, doing things differently this time. Okay, overall energy, we have the Magician. This is about as above, so below, as well as having all the tools we need to uh, achieve what we want here. But it's also about illusions, okay, the performance. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have Four of Cups, Fool, Hanged Man, and Judgment. Yeah, things have been quite stagnant or mundane for you for a while. When it comes to your love life or emotionally here, you might have felt like nothing's ever changing for you or getting better. You feel a lot of disappointment as well. Uh, but with the full card here, things are starting to shift even though you may not realize it because you've been stuck in this uh, certain situation. But uh, all of a sudden, something comes to you. Okay, so pay attention to your intuition as well. Uh, this week, we have Three of Cups, Five of Wands, Devil, and the Seven of Swords for their energy. So there could be a third party uh, involved in the situation. It doesn't have to be for everyone. I do see if it isn't. Uh, this person is definitely struggling uh, with their own emotions. They're missing you desperately. And I see that uh, they're having trouble with the fact that they've done some things that went against this connection that they're not really proud of here as well as feeling like they've put themselves in a predicament. Uh, they've done this on their own. They do realize now that uh, they wish you could have done things differently because of how they uh, communicated with you or what they took action on or the main focus was is why they're in this situation now. They've kept things stuck for a while, but there's this inner turmoil that it's starting to boil over. They're having a really tough time holding back at this point. Some of the five of wands, please. Ace of Swords, yeah, there's a fear here of coming forward and actually revealing something or speaking their truth. Uh, the fear is because they feel like you will want to not talk to them again or run away from them. Uh, they don't want you to be completely hurt, but they know that the truth is needed at this time. Uh, we have Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands for the past. Yeah, so I see that the main focus was always on other things. It was never you. They treated you like the Ace of Wands. Anytime they felt the need in the heat of passion or they wanted you to stroke their ego, whatever you were fulfilling for them, then they would come forward and they would get their needs met. But I see that they didn't really give into this connection fully when they would embrace your feelings or they would communicate to you uh, how much they care about you here. So I see they neglected to open up. Uh, in the heart of the matter, they felt like in the Knight of Pentacles that they were very loyal to you. They always wanted to be with you in the end. Uh, but they felt like that at this point, they didn't have the ability or they weren't capable of committing or um, giving all of their heart to you. Uh, tell me the Knight of Swords. It was so sporadic, you could not count on when this person would return, what they were going to say, or what they were going to do. It seemed like this person was just completely unpredictable here, and it caused a lot of confusion as well as insecurity, right? You couldn't quite figure out because you were always there for them and always gave all of uh, what you could give, okay? Tell me about the Five of Cups. A lot of regret. I see that... The more time this person took to not make a decision or not really commit or listen to your side of things, the harder they were on themselves as well, but they were concealing this. Also for people dealing with a third party here, they felt 
uh, really regretful that they had to do some things in the third party. Uh, that there was more responsibility being put on their plate. They were getting sucked in more. I see this person feeling very trapped and bound, having to do things that they don't want to do. And uh, they were too embarrassed or shameful to talk to you about this or come forward uh, and let you know what was going on. They didn't want to hurt your feelings, but at the same time, uh, what happened was this was a spiral situation because I see with the Knight of Swords, when they come back and communicate with you, they took it out on you in a, in a way, uh, very cold and it's sometimes very rash. Uh, they felt very upset where they were at in their situation or feeling very stuck. That it came out aggressive or cold at times. Uh, tell me about the Knight of Wands. I see this left you in despair. You were feeling emotionally depleted. Feeling like this person was never going to change. They were never going to step up to the plate and uh, follow through with what they had promised in the beginning. The World card, yeah. They felt like both of you were two worlds apart and uh, there was nothing that they could do to get unstuck here, but it was just in their head. And I'm seeing this now. They've caused this uh, without being truthful with you from the start. Uh, we have King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So because they were solely focused on what they needed to get done or achieve here, this could be a job, uh, finances here, even their home environment or third party, whatever it is, uh, they felt like that was of most importance, not this connection. Although they were unwilling to let you go or release themselves from it, but they always knew in the Queen of Pentacles that you would be there for them, that they could always win you back or, you know, melt your heart and you would stay with them uh, no matter what, because they see you as a very good hearted person and somebody that loves them for who they are. And they've not been able to find that with the Nine of Cups, right? They really do see you as somebody that checks off all those boxes. They really didn't think that they would find in this world. Uh, but with the Nine of Cups as well, uh, there's a hesitancy here, okay, to wonder if this is too good to be true. Uh, in the end, if they do commit to you, will you actually stay with them once you find out who they truly are? Uh, this person deals with some unworthiness as well. There's a lot of uh, baggage emotionally that they've been carrying around, but they've never told anyone. So it feels like it's always this big, heavy burden that they're carrying around and nobody really truly knows them. And you are the one that got the closest here. Uh, the person that was really starting to tear uh, down that wall. Tell me the Nine of Cups, please. Hermit, Six of Cups. Yes, it was starting to make them wonder, you know, there's something truly special here. Do soulmates really exist? Is love like this really real? Uh, and you made them change their mind or perspective on this because they felt like their feelings were not wavering. After a while, they got more intense and they started to fantasize uh, about a future, about being with you. I do see some of them, uh, and I have to say this because I see it, they're desiring all the time, with, and they're not letting you know this, uh, to hold you, okay? Somebody here wants to just spend a day and embrace you, cuddling here. And it's something that they truly desire. Some of them have physical touch as their love language. Uh, tell me the King of Wands, please. King of Swords. They felt like they had to think about things logically here. I have to play this out a certain way, especially of those... Uh, that are in a third party, but I see that they weren't ready. They felt like they had to do something else, whatever the block is here. They felt like they had to have something at a certain point in order to be with you. And this can also be a mindset, right? Where they feel ready. They feel like the time has come to commit or get serious. And for those of you that are already in a serious relationship with them in the past or have been, uh, they feel like they've neglected some things here that they've gone about things the wrong way and you have definitely opened their eyes to see that things are not really what they seem and they bucked the system before made you feel like they weren't listening or caring but in reality they were listening all along and there's been some silence here between you uh for a while 
Okay, Ten of Swords, Chariot, and the Nine of Pentacles for what they're about to do. I see that we have an ending here, finally. The Ten of Swords is really good because the Chariot, we're overcoming this. And with the Nine of Pentacles, this means there is a promise here from the universe that you are going to receive the abundance that you've deserved all along. So joyous and happy times are coming and I'm so glad to see this for you. If this reading's resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys dearly and I'll see you next time.